morning. It's a new dawn, it's a new day and today I am off to do my Paddy Advanced Dive course. This came about at the very last minute. Apparently Ella had a couple of spaces and since we we're in the area uh, didn't get much sleep last night though. We were supposed to be re-anchoring back down there uh, because we were having this southerly coming up. Um, it didn't really transpire until about two in the morning when the wind started picking up and then I started panicking uh, thinking oh shit well we should have moved because it's only going to get worse and then by three the winds calmed a bit and then seven o'clock my alarm went off so <laughs> I haven't had much sleep. Anyway I'm not going to be taking my camera equipment with me today uh, because obviously I'm going to be concentrating on the diving but I just thought I would bring the GoPro with me and just uh, well just show you the sights and the scenes as Liz has a lie in because she didn't get much sleep either. Oof. Right let's get going. Before we get into the Paddy Advanced Open Water Diver Course let's introduce you to Big Fin Divers based on the northwest coast of Malaysian Borneo. This is one of our favourite anchorages, right next to one of our favourite dive schools, run by Apec and Ella, set in the beautiful surroundings of Kota Belud. It's very shallow here. Before starting the morning with a coffee, I was curious to know why the normally quiet bay was disrupted last night with some very strange noises coming from the shore. It's been quiet here at the moment. What I didn't mention was last night, someone was strangling a cat or multiple people were strangling cats for about three or four hours. Someone's got a karaoke system. Someone also needs to learn how to sing because it was bloody atrocious and I'm going to find out who it was. <laughs> who was who was doing the really bad singing last night, Ari? <laughs> was that you? Uh, no, me, <laughs> my man, and another friend from the village, brother together. There were a lot of two people look, uh, you can me dream be uh, happy, whatever. I just relax, you know? <laughs> just relax. Drink to tea. Uh, are we okay? We can't no drink beer. Because yeah. I okay. Right, I've just put in my coffee order with Ari, who has been explaining what went on last night. And um, it seems, unfortunately for us going out on the boat today, that the person who was the loudest last night singing was Jai Bong. He is the skipper of the boat. Apparently he was so pissed last night, he went back home walking sideways. Of course they are completely off grid here. Do you remember that term, off grid? <laughs> so they, their water supply is, uh, you can see behind me one of the barrels, they've got a barrel there. They have another four um, barrels up on the hill. They take the rainwater and then they have a filtration system. So they're actually able to filter the water which is perfectly drinkable and uh, also they can use it for showers as well but we do try and conserve water as much as we can but you can see a lot of that water goes on the garden because it is stunning it is absolutely beautiful and that is one of the reasons why we love coming up to Big Fin <laughs> is it's just so well kept hey, my man yes that was my man explaining that uh, he was drinking lots of rice wine last night <laughs> no it wasn't it was beer if he was drinking rice wine he wouldn't be diving today anyway I think these are the guys I'm diving with today so uh, I best go and meet them I should make the point that karaoke among the staff is a rarity normally reserved for visiting guests Jai Bong is an expert skipper and my man one of the best instructors we've ever dived with but even professionals need to let their hair down once in a while the Paddy Advanced Open Water Diver course is all about advancing your skills. It's a two-day course that includes three speciality dives. The five dives we undertook covered underwater navigation, peak performance buoyancy, night diving, deep diving and fish identification. We begin with navigation which requires a wrist compass and involves two exercises. A simple reciprocal bearing test and then diving in a grid formation with three 90 degree turns. So my man's just teaching them and he's just taught me uh, reciprocal headings which is fairly straightforward of course. I did this in Cubs and Scouts. The difficulty is of course is when you're down there at 15 meters or whatever it is, 
first of all understanding what it is he's asking you to do and then secondly um, actually just doing some basic maths normally when you're down underwater all you're concentrating on is fish and coral so it'll be interesting to see how rusty the old grey matter is and just doing some some basic calculations it's literally adding uh, 90 degrees when you do your your grid so the idea is you do sort of 10 kicks on a bearing of 0, 030 0 degrees and then you turn 90 degrees and then of course you've got to take into account uh, coral and rocks and what have you so uh, it's pretty straightforward stuff but um, as I say it's all different when you're down there so we'll see how we get on. That was uh, navigation done and just to uh, confuse everyone I did my reciprocal second and my grid first. <laughs> Bloody idiot. Anyway uh, my, uh, my man then just asked us whether we wanted to go up after finishing the exercise or go for a little dive. So we went for a little little dive around the reef and very pleasant it was too. Right one down two more to go today. Peak Performance is a series of underwater exercises that teach you how to control your buoyancy and trim to make you more efficient in the water and less inclined to flail around with your arms. I found this especially useful since I dive with heavy camera gear where buoyancy is essential, but these are skills any advanced diver should possess. Right, just had lunch. Having done our peak performance and buoyancy uh, in shallow waters just by the islands out there, and I have to say it was very funny. There was a moment when I was wetting myself laughing. Uh, the first thing we had to do was to get through a hoop, a square hoop. Of course, this is about maintaining your horizontal buoyancy and uh, managed to get the body through, but hadn't realized that I hadn't gone through enough. So sort of kicked the top of it with my fin. So we gave that a few goes and then you have to do it sort of going over the top like so. Uh, but the funniest thing was uh, when my man put down some spare uh, weights from the belt and he first we put one on a rock and the idea was that you had to swim over it and knock it over uh, with the regulator and then he put two down on the seabed so then you had to swim along the seabed obviously keeping your buoyancy and knock down each one in turn again with your regulator <laughs> well what Eddie didn't know, and Eddie uh, was the guy who went last, what he didn't realise, my man had put three down and it was, uh, well you had to be there, it was very very funny, so uh, nice bit of um, humour and light heartedness whilst we uh, do our, our various exercises. And uh, we've just done our theory as well on those uh, three, three areas, which is uh, navigation points in di night diving, which is what we're going to be doing this evening at around about six o'clock at dusk. So, uh, an afternoon of just relaxing now. Now interestingly, this wind has come up from the south and as I look out down south, down the coast, there are quite a few um, white horses out there and of course this bay has no protection from the south so Esper is literally sitting in the middle of the bay with a southerly coming up and the southerly swell. But I've spoken to Liz, she seems quite happy and I'm looking out across Esper now and she's you know she's doing a bit of this but it's nothing particularly terrible so as long as she feels happy and her transits don't move then I think we're we're okay so I can just relax a little but I do actually have about four hours now before our night dive so I might just nip over there and check up on her. The night dive doesn't require any special skills but there is protocol in using lights which my man explained in detail. This dive was the highlight of our course because visibility was excellent and we spotted some hard to find creatures. Even my man with thousands of dives under his belt said this dive was in his top five dives of all time. How about that, eh?
day two of the Paddy Advanced Open Water. Looking forward to today, it's going to be very interesting. But boy, do I ache from yesterday. <laughs> Ooh so we're doing deep dive today and with the paddy advanced you can go down to 40 meters uh, but they do say that 30 is the recommended maximum depth you should take yourself to and I think that's the depth we're going to go to today and then one other dive is fish ID which is the one I'm really looking forward to that should be uh, that should be really enjoyable but uh, first of all I need my coffee and then uh, it's over there to join up with the other boys Get cracking. Oh, there we go. Good coffee. Man. Okay. Morning <laughs> coffee. <laughs> so the first dive we're doing is the deep dive. So I'm not going to take the camera for this one. I think my man wouldn't have minded, but I need to concentrate on what I'm learning. Obviously diving with the camera can be a distraction from that. So the night dive was just a night dive. All the uh, lessons were learned beforehand, so that was okay. But uh, yeah, I need to concentrate and I slept well last night, but uh, still only got six hours, so I'm a little bit knackered. But always after a dive, you wake up, zing, full of life. And that's what I'm hoping will happen after going down to 30 meters. Is that what you yeah. So the deep diving is that we're gonna go to maximum is 30 meters and we're gonna stay there for a while, maybe around 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna ask you guys a few questions to see your guys' reaction. Is it slow? Is it fast? I mean, because of the depth change, it's gonna affect our, some people gonna get affected by the depth. Deep dives are exciting, but not without danger. There's an increased risk of decompression sickness not to mention gas narcosis, which can affect your reactions and both physical and mental performance. My man took us through a series of exercises, including answering questions using an underwater writing pad and checking the changes in the colour spectrum with a colour card. Uh, so we've just done our deep dive and uh, you can tell everyone's taking it seriously. We've got a really good knob here. Show us the knob. <laughs> Just write down on a 30 meters depth. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, I think we all did alright. So the other thing that we uh, record is what um, colours we see when we go down. And it's amazing because on the chart you've got all the different bright colours of the rainbow. When you get down there, they all look the same. Maybe I'm colour blind. last dive done that was the fish identification uh, for me it was a more nudie identification but uh, we saw a stonefish which uh, I don't think I've seen before so that was quite exciting a couple of new nudies and I did make a note of some smaller fish I've been keen to find out about but know nothing about so hopefully we'll find out what they are anyway that is it uh, so the deal is obviously we come back and then we need to wash out all the gear and there is certain protocols for that as well certain things we must remember when we do that and uh, then I think we're just going to do our last couple of exercises up at the restaurant not before some of Ari's lovely fried rice okay so let me see some 
something to prove that you've just finished this course, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need a whiteboard and a picture of a knob. <laughs> <laughs> I can't recommend enough the Paddy Advanced Open Water Diver course. I think it helps that we had an excellent dive instructor in Maman with the backup from the Big Fin crew. The book that accompanies the course is really well laid out and I was able to complete my five selected sections and their respective exercises in a day in preparation for the course. There's a lot to take in but it's a great option for anyone wanting to take their diving to the next level. The odd bit of tomfoolery in among it all sums up perfectly the Paddy Advanced Open Water Diver course to have fun diving safely. <laughs> <laughs>